Hey guys, so here's a quick tutorial on what I think is the, the toughest part of phase shifts. All right, coming up with the equation for a graph like this, I and mean, it gives you just a couple of points. So um, this that I have written is the correct equation. All right, let's talk about how I got that. So the first thing I pick up on is the midline, all right? If my maximum is here at negative four and my minimum is negative five, and my midline is directly in between. So I come up with my midline, negative 4.5. That has to be the easiest part for us. Next, uh, I find the amplitude. If my midline is negative 4.5, then my amplitude is the distance between the midline and the maximum, which is one half, or the distance between the midline and the minimum, which is also one half. So I got 0 0.5 right there. The next one is... Give me one second. Next part. Okay, so the next part, now that we've got our uh, midline and our amplitude is deciding, is this a cosine or a sine function? You can actually get it right with either one. It just depends on how much you shift it because they have the same shape, all right? So I went with cosine for this one because one of the points that I was given was a maximum. I could have used the maximum or the minimum. So cosine is a function that starts at its maximum, goes down in the midline, then reaches the minimum, and then goes back. So that is the shape of cosine. Okay? So uh, I decided that it was going to be a cosine function. All right? But again, you could pick sine or cosine, depending on which point you're starting with. So I want my starting point to be 3.5 comma negative 4. All right. Next thing, I had to think about my B value. All right? If you want to find the B value, it's as simple as this. T equals 2 pi over, you probably already know it, 2 pi over B, All right? So I don't know the B value. That means I should know the T value. Well, I look at my function and I see what is the width between a, from, from uh, one part of the period to another, All right? So I could basically find the width between this point all the way to this guy. Right? It's not really symmetrical, so I can't really tell. Um, but what I do know is the length between the length of half a period. So I'm looking at x values from negative 1 to 3.5. That's a distance of 4.5. Right. So if half of the period is a distance of 4.5, then the full period must be a distance of 9. So 9 equals 2 pi over b. All right, to solve for b, multiply both sides by b. So I got 9b equals 2 pi. And my cosine function is in the way. So b is equal to 2 pi divided by 9. All right, and that's why I put my b value right here. Now, notice my c value, my uh, phase shift, I kept it in parentheses. Khan Academy actually let me answer like that. So now the only thing that I have to look at. Since cosine is supposed to start at its at its maximum, I need to think how much did my maximum shift because the maximum is supposed to be the y-intercept. So uh, that means that this y-intercept moved to the right. Okay, if I think about it, if I were able to take this point back over here to the y-intercept, that means that my function moved to the right. Well, how much? Just look at your x value. It moved 3.5 units to the right, so I put 3.5 units to the right. All right, that's why it has a minus symbol. So that's that. That's how I could uh, find that answer. Hopefully this helps. This is a very tough problem. Please go ahead and start working on secant and cosecant. Um, and then you can follow up with phase shift if you want to increase your score. Okay, that's all we have for, for this problem.